Shalom, my friends. You're welcome. Kapar from Jemesh, London. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Shevach Hakodash. Want to get double double honors unto the elders, the apostles, the Jemesh, and Shalom out there. So the whole like pushing this truth, not necessary. Back again with another video, just a quick one. I uh, just got this uh, this tweet from here, right from uh, Wall Street Silver, right? And it's going into this uh, what these Germans are doing with their meats, or what they're suggesting they do, they're gonna do, or want to do, right? <laughs> right, um, and it reads here the the radical left wing German government wants to, okay, wants to right limit consumption to a maximum meat consumption, right, to a maximum of ten grams per day. Right, ten grams, right. It's not a lot. <laughs> Let me put it that way, right. It's not a lot, ten grams, right. In, you know, because you know, in order to for the world to go green, right, you you've got to give up. Everything, right? WF says you gotta give up everything, own nothing, right? You know, you gotta eat bugs, uh, you gotta you know do all this crazy stuff, right? Yet, you know, these these elites are gonna enjoy their um their meats, they're gonna enjoy all this shit still, right? But you you can't know more, right? So they the idea is that you're gonna consume less, less meat, more vegetables, uh, more uh GMO foods, more vegan foods, um Beyond meat foods and all this madness, right? So, yeah, they want to limit maximum of meat consumption to ten grams per day. It says ten grams. Is a typical steak is eight ounces, which is twenty eight point thirty three five grams in one ounce. Oh, my bad. I read that kind of wrong. A typical steak is eight ounces, right? It says in one ounce, right? I should have said this way. One in one ounce is 28.35 grams so you can have approximately 120 of a steak per day which is like one bite or maybe two bites right so yeah that's you know they what they want to limit and restrict your you know access to food right they want to control uh you know your movements they want to control your energy usage, okay, they, they want to control everything, right, and all these quote-unquote suggestions, right, is just plans they want to implement, you know, how fast they come into play and all that kind of stuff, we'll, we'll just see, but all these things are on the table, right, and you've got all these global organizations, you know, changing the world and how people have got to live, all right, and like I said, these are all part of the agenda of the, of the elites, man, because they want to take everything from you, and they're using, you know, climate change as an excuse to do these things because everyone should be concerned about saving the planet, right? But you you have to pay the greatest cost, right? Because like I said, they're going to have access to everything that they want, just like they do now. So they're going to live in luxury and you're going to live in poverty, just like you do now, but worse. Worse than, you know I mean, you can go buy a steak today. They don't, they, they, they don't want you to go buy a steak, you know? And when these CBDCs come in, and the market, you know, MOTB comes in. Guess what? You ain't buying steak no more. <laughs> okay, that, that's not gonna be on on the list of things to buy. Okay, you're gonna get your ten grams, right? You're gonna get your your credits for your ten grams of, of meat, right? And that's how you're gonna be rolling, if you're lucky, right? Um, just to see some of the more, more of these tweets concerning this. this is some claim it is only recommended. German Nutrition Society is doing this. The DGE also certifies school canteens. Without certification, it is deemed unhealthy. So these recommendations would likely be used to control successful certification. Yeah. So yeah. So this is you not know, sort of plans that these men are, you know, the elites are trying to implement. Okay, which is a madness. All right, but we know that's what's coming. You know, Issa wants to control all aspects of your life, and he's going to do that with the MOTB. Okay, and he's going to rush into you. Or allocate to you food that is sufficient for the right. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna dictate what that is. So if he says no meat, guess what? No meat. You know, if he tells you ten grams of meat, it's ten grams of meat. That's that's what you're gonna live on. You know, you're, you're saving the cows. You're doing a good job. But then I'm gonna have them fat ass t bone steaks, man, and wagyu beefs and all of that. You know. Anyway. 
Let's grab some scriptures, right? It's Ezekiel 4, verse, uh, verse 16. It said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. Right? So this is something the Lord did to us, man. And this is something he's sort of trying to do to the, to the rest of the world, right? So I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight. You know, their food, right? By weight and with care. Right? So you're going to be making shit last, you know, because you're not going to have a lot of it. This is the point, right? You, you'll be carefully... You know, portioning your meals. Well, he's still gonna carefully portion or ration you your your allocated food. He's gonna decide that. You ain't gonna decide it for yourself. He's gonna decide that. Right? He's gonna take control of the of the world supply of food and energy and, and all this kind of stuff. Right? He's gonna tell you, right, what you can and can't have and how much of it. Right? That's the whole point. If you getting put onto the MLTB system and you know, being being uh, uh, synced with the system, right? He he can dictate to you through through the digital currencies and that how much you can have, what you can go buy, because without it you can't buy and sell anyway. So it's not like you it's not like there's a workaround where you can just go. Oh, I'm gonna go around the side and and, and go to the butchers, right? And because he's on the system too, so he can't he can't accept cash. Cash ain't worth nothing. He can't accept your cash. It's not like you can go, do a workaround and. Give cash on the low and get get a get a leg of meat or whatever. You can't. You ain't gonna be able to do that, all right? You ain't gonna be able to do that. It's Revelations thirteen and sixteen says, and he calls you all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, the MLTB is coming, and that no man might buy or sell. You're not gonna be able to buy and sell without this man. So you're gonna have to be hooked into the new system, right? But this new system comes with all these caveats, right? All these control measures that Esau has, or you know, gonna be he's gonna be able to implement. My man's tracking how much CO two emissions that you're producing as a person. You know what I'm saying? You know how much energy you're using, how much water you're using, how much meat you're eating. You know, he's gonna measure all this, man. How much you're farting? No, you can't eat that because that, that it, it, you produce too much methane gas. You know what I'm saying? He, he gonna measure and monitor all of that, man. So he's gonna tell you, look, nah, you can't have this. Just forget about that. This is what you're gonna have. You know. This is where you know where you, where you can purchase this. this. Is when you can purchase this, because like I said the CBDC is that's all digital currency. It's all programmable money. Okay, you can set parameters to that money, man. That it can only perform specific functions. It can only buy a certain things for a certain amount of time. And like I said you're gonna be you know begging the government. For food in that time Because there's going to be A lack of it Or scarcity of food Famine Okay which we keep Telling you about Alright so you're going to be Reliant on the government To provide you With your rations Just like they've done In the past In, in the world wars right With the rationing cards Okay but now we, we, you know, We're up to date now Okay we've got digital tech So that's all going to be digital Okay they don't want They don't want this paper shit That's why everyone Asks to go paperless <laughs> Right um, is that it or not? Let me go check. All right, so no, I didn't finish this. Right, it says I will break. Sorry, Ezekiel four over sixteen. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Right, that they may want bread and water and be astonished, astonished one with another and consume away, uh, for their iniquity. Right, but this is something that Esau is is uh, plotting on the world, man. All right. And like I said, you're gonna be begging at the hand of the government to provide you with with food and water, and medication and whatever, right? Deuteronomy twenty eight verse forty eight says, "Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things." Okay, a curse primarily on our people right now, right? But this is, Esau wants to put everybody under his curse because he is the curse, man. He is the curse that came upon us, man. But he's a curse to the whole world too. You're going to plunge everybody in, in this situation, right? So you're going to have us in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. Okay? And like I've been saying in previous videos this week, um, you know, similar topics, right? That this new, the, the new yoke is the RFID that he wants to put in you. Once he's got that in you, man, he can dictate to you whatever he want to dictate to you, man. And you, you're, at, you're at the mercy of him. Because there ain't going to be no other way to do something. There ain't no other way to buy and sell. 
So where are you gonna get anything from? Everything that we do is is is, is you know used with money. You want to travel somewhere, you need money. You need to, you know, either get the bus or you get petrol for your car. Everything costs money. Everything you do costs money. Turn your light to cost money, man. But guess what? It's gonna be coming out your, your your CBDCs, man. But if you ain't hooked up, you ain't logged in, right? You ain't you ain't gonna get no power. You know? So I say you're gonna become re, uh, reliant on, on the governments <coughs> and their and their demands, man. Alright? Because this could be bad out here. This is Genesis 47, verse 18. And I said, I'm going through these, you know, these scriptures over and over of late because of the topics that we're talking about. You know, so like I said, it sounds like we've been repetitive, but that's a good thing at the end of the day. Because at least you get stuck into your mind, right? But it's just what's happening, man. Okay, when these articles come out, man, we're going to talk about them and, you know, relate them to the appropriate scriptures. Okay, these are the appropriate scriptures, man, that, that's, you know, that it pertains to. Okay, or, or, you know, examples of it. Okay, of what Esau is trying to do out here. Okay, because that's what it's going to look like. And he said, um, and when that second year was ended, they came unto him the second year and said unto him, we will not hide it from my Lord how that our money is spent. No good, it's gone, it's finished. Right? And like I said, when this economy collapses, guess what? Everybody's got them savings and, and getting paid. Right? Guess what? Your money's not going to be worth anything. That's all going to go to zero. You're going to have nothing. Right? So something has to be done. And the government will step in. Because you're going to be begging the government to step in and do something. Right? They will step in and they will offer you a solution. And that solution will be you take this MOTB, you know, I'm not going to say MOTB, but, you know, you take, you know, we got to get everybody, uh, take this, the C hip. And, you know, we've got this digital currency here. Now we can, we can relay that to everybody on the system. Right. And we can allocate your provisions. And the majority of people are going to be like, okay, yeah, great. You know, we'll do that. Some are going to be like, nah, I ain't, you know, C hip me. You know, so you're going to have, you know, different people in different mindsets, but, Majority of people are going to take that because that's the only course of action they can see. You know, and they need to, they need to, you know, look after themselves and their families, right? So, yeah, most people are going to do that. All right. It says, um, My Lord, also have our herds of cattle. There is aught left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. There, wherefore shall we die before thy eyes while we in our land? And that's essentially what you're going to say to the government. It's like, oh, we've got no money, like, can't afford nothing, and everything's gone to shit. Like, what are you going to do about it? Because you, you're just going to let us die? You know, a good government won't let you die, right? <laughs> so, you know, you expect them to help. So, yeah, they, they're going to, quote unquote, help in their own way, right? But all means for their benefit. <clears throat> all right, it says, um, buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants unto, the, unto Pharaoh. And that's what exactly you're giving up. You're giving up your, um, your freedoms. Okay, in order to, to, to get this food and you know get these provisions. All right. It says, um, and we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh. Give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for, for the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them, so the land became Pharaoh's. All right. So that's the, the, the position of circumstances he's going to have the world in. You know, through these orchestrated attacks, right? This is Isaiah 30 verse 1. says, Well to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, right? So when this time comes, people are not going to be thinking about the Lord. Because the Lord prophesied about the time that we're going into, man. But people are not going to be on that mindset. People are not going to have the faith to stand there, or and sit or sit there, right, and, and think like I'm not going to go. I'm not going to take that because I trust in the Lord. They're going to be worried about starving to death, right? And like I said, the only real course of action that they're going to be able to, you know, reason with their minds is that we take this this sea hip so we can eat because the government offering food, right? I ain't hearing the Lord. The Lord ain't talking to me. He ain't offering me nothing. So I'm going to go take the Go take the sea and get get food from the government. That's what you people are going to be thinking, 
Right? You're not going to wait to find out whether the Lord is going to come and deliver you uh, uh, those troubles. You're not going to wait. Most people are not going to wait because they don't have faith. All right. So you're going to trust Egypt. You're going to trust the system. You're going to trust the oppressor. You know, to strengthen yourself, right? To protect yourself from from the you know from the from the evil, right? Verse three says, "Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame." You trusted in him, trusting in Esau, taking his taking his MOTB, which the Lord explicitly told you not to take, right? It's going to become your shame because you're going to only be judged according to that, because of that, for the lack of faith, right? And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. I'm just going to close out with this. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread after great tribulation, right? Because that's what's going to come to this place, right? There's going to be a lack of things, food, water, whatever, right? There's going to be violence because of this, right? But when you got, you know, like I said, these people out here suggesting 10 grams of meat, you can see, man. <laughs> You know, when they get you on that on that rationing system because there's a lack of things and the government got to step in and take control, yeah, guess what, man? You ain't going to enjoy a steak no more. <laughs> That's pretty much certain. You know, you ain't going to be getting a steak. Okay, you might get a, a cube of meat. <laughs> a cube of meat, right? If you're lucky. All right, and that's that's your rations, man. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> or two eggs. <laughs> you know, steak and eggs. You know, two eggs and a cube of meat. You know, but evidently this is what is in the mind of these elites, man. And so it, the future don't look good, right, under this devil, man. But he's trying. To, he's going to try and sell you that. You know, oh, this is this is great. This is this is good for everybody. Good for the cows, right? Saving the cows, saving the planet. You know, you know, we're gonna we're gonna put you on Beyond Meat. Some some GMO shit, some fake meat. Um, or, or or bugs and you know everything with gravy. Nah, this shit sounds like hell. <laughs> you know, sounds like hell. So you know, you can keep your keep your ten grounds, man. You know, we're gonna we're gonna trust in the Lord and wait for the Lord to provide us, man. Cause, uh, man, we we wait, wait, wait for the Lord, man. Let's just let me just say that, <laughs> right? So you know, with that, I'm gonna say shalom, Lord, Mrs. Edifying, and I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So till next time, I say shalom.